Well, I did find a way across that cascade there. Not where I, not where the path originally stops. Um, I looked a bit dodgy, um, lots of wet rocks. So I just followed the side path further up and I found a much better way to cross. Just one simple step, so that was good. But yeah, I'm just making my way up the, the first ascent. This should meet up the main path, which then tracks west towards Glidavac. Yeah, it's been fairly steep so far. Lots of rocks, which is always annoying. But I'm just taking my time. This is hard work. I'm not used to this. For those waterfall shots, I used a polarizer and a high f stop uh, just to slow the shutter down a bit, just to smooth out the water a little bit as the water was cascading. It's flowing fairly quickly, so I managed to get the shutter down to 1 15th of a second. So that's just about the right speed I wanted. But yeah, it's kind of a distraction now because I want to carry on and press on up. How long as I go? It's a bit boggy coming across that ridge there. Oh, my feet are wet again. This is very frustrating. Uh, I guess they will dry out. I'll just ignore the dampness. But I'm just making my way up the final ascent up to Glidavac. So I shouldn't be too long. I'll see you up there. Yep, that's looking towards Straven. Quite a, an iconic peak by the Ogwen Valley. This is my wonderful route up Bilderbach. Stones, stones, lots of stones.
Oh, there's a bit of breeze on the ridge here. I feel the cold wind coming across. But I'm just walking back from the castle of the winds there. Stacked rock structure. I should be able to get a better view now I'm looking back. Uh, with the with the mountains in the in the background, so that should make a really good shot. So I'm gonna head this way and find a good vantage point and hopefully get some good photos. I've just come the other side of this big rock structure uh, behind me there. Yeah, the wind was really picking up there. Uh, it wasn't a strong wind, but it was cold. Um, but I did manage to stop there and hopefully I've got a nice panorama with a Castle of Gint or Castle of the Winds pretty much in the centre of the panorama there. Um, yeah, I had a, a good bit of light actually which helps bring out the, the depth of the scene. And just there's someone flying their drone here which I oh, will probably do in a bit. Um, I will drop down a bit though, because it is a bit windy. Uh, but yeah, I just need to pick my way through these rocks now. Um, sort of heading towards back. I'm going to track back the, the same way I came. Uh, no doubt I'll get wet, wet feet again walking through the bog, which is always fun. Finally made it back down. That was uh, quite a slog down actually. Lots of loose rock and um, big boulders and quite steep steps so it really does take it out on your knees. Yeah, really quite tired my legs are. But it's a good trip, it's definitely worth doing that. Um, yeah, great views from up there and the scenery, the landscape, it's just amazing. So hopefully I've got, got a few good photos there. I did take the drone up for a, a little spin, but it was a bit windy, so I didn't take it up for too long. And the wind really blew on the way down. Yeah, it really picks up um, as it come across the ridge. Um, and it's not until I got near the bottom with the, the winds eased off, so. Yeah, it was a good trip. And I'll be glad to get back and have some late lunch, I think. It's well past midday. Yeah, <laughs> I lost track of time when I was up there. So. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this one, and um, I shall see you somewhere next time. I, it won't be in the mountains, obviously I don't live near here, but I can certainly do some hikes around my local neighbourhood, uh, around Essex and Suffolk. Um, there is sort of heathland and forest and river sidewalks, I can do so. Anyway, I'll see you next time.